Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been horrible. I haven't been uploading lately and that's because honestly it's been school. It's been a lot hectic than I anticipated that it was going to be and also I've been really really sick the past few days. I had a fever of like 101. I couldn't even walk. Like every time I would walk I, I felt like I was floating. Like I, I it was such a weird feeling because I, like, I felt like my limbs felt heavy. At the same time, like every time I moved, it was like, like I was moving through air. It was like so slow. I don't know. And I just like I had the chills, which I've never had before. And let me tell you, chills is just like you cannot stop shaking. Like you're just shivering and shivering. And I was like trying to do all these like deep breathing like exercises to like help calm my like like my veins because when you shiver you vasoconstrict your veins so I was like trying to breathe so I don't do that anymore and it just it was just bad but anyways I'm better now and I finally have the energy to film this video and this video is gonna be a grocery haul on a budget so I have two bags right here so this big bag I don't know if you can see it. So this one I went to Whole Foods with and this one's with Trader Joe's. Um, they were right across from each other. So yes, I'm also, I gave myself a $100 budget. It's for the week. So $100, two full bags of groceries. And by the way, when you go grocery shopping, always try to use a reusable bag just to help the environment. And yes, these are like Lululemon bags. I had Whole Food groceries, like grocery bags from Whole Foods, and I just couldn't find them, so I found these. And I felt like a mom, cause like only moms like go with their Lululemon bags. I was like, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you what I got from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Oh, and how I like to divide it. I like getting my produce um, from Trader Joe's, cause I find it a lot cheaper to get like fresh food from Trader Joe's rather than Whole Foods. And I think Whole Foods has a huge variety of like vegan options. Like just like cool breads and lots of canned veggies. It just has more variety. I don't know. It's like Trader Joe's has their own thing that they have their own unique variety that Whole Foods doesn't and Whole Foods has something that Trader Joe's doesn't and I don't know but either way I'm happy having both of them so yeah let's get into it okay so I'm first gonna start off with the Whole Foods bag right here um so first thing I have is let's see okay I have peanut butter whole grain cluster uh, by kind. This is like some good healthy like granola I use. Uh, you'll see in my next video for what. And then I got this bunza shell made from chickpea. So it's like a pasta but it's made out of chickpea. So it's like gluten free and it's like really high in protein. Um, then I think in my last video y'all saw this but this is like this amazing green free paleo Keto, vegan, gluten-free like chips, paleo puffs. I really, really like them. And then, oh my cat just came in. Okay, and then I got some uh, no salt garbanzo beans. I got a bunch of those. So I got garbanzo beans, another can of garbanzo beans. I think garbanzo beans and black beans is a big staple when grocery shopping. So I know when you like when people go grocery shopping or, or like when you go vegan for the first time and then you go to the grocery store you're just like oh what do i get like where where do you even begin so i think this is a good starting place right now and it's also within budget and this is for a whole week and i think some of these might last you longer than a week like like some things I won't need again. I'll show you like what, but I mean, I probably won't eat all the garbanzo beans, but they don't get bad. So I probably won't need to buy them again. Um, so I got this Kite Hill vanilla yogurt. It's in Greek style. So it's kind of like Greek yogurt, but you know, when you first like go vegan, you're like, oh man, no more like Greek yogurt and yogurt 
bowls and like parfaits or anything, no. You can still have them. So this is like Height Hill Greek yogurt style. And then I also got this um, other vegan yogurt. Oh, by the way, they're all gluten-free and soy-free. And this is by Vega or Vega Protein right here. I don't know if you could see that, if it could focus, but this has 13 grams of protein in one container. So I thought that was a winner. So I have both the Kite Hill. This one has 10 grams of protein and this one has um, 13 grams of protein. And then, what else? So I got that, I got like all different flavors. So I have like raspberry, blueberry, vanilla, and I also got um, another vanilla one. And then I got um, a bunch of protein bars, so you guys know you go slim has always been my favorite protein bar of all time. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing, but there we go. So that has that has always these have always been my favorite protein bars. I've never like gained weight or felt bloated or like bad from it at all, and they've always kept me full. So I got like a bunch of those, and then I got this like dang bar by like Mama Dang, I don't know. I just saw it, it's like, it's like Thai, it has like coconut in it. So I'm gonna try that. Um, what else? Okay, I got some meat, vegan meat of course. So it's Beyond Meat, if you can see that. It has, um, it's very low carb, high protein. So it's kind of similar to chicken. So I got like chicken strips and yeah, it's like to have a salad or stir fry, like it's really easy, easy going vegan. I mean, no, it's like challenging, but it's, I think it's becoming a lot easier. There are all these like substitutes and alternatives coming out because I think a lot of people are starting to pick up the trend on veganism and that's amazing because I know a lot of dairy factories have closed down because of this trend and because of this movement, which is amazing. And that's what the end goal is, is to like, you know, limit the amount of dairy farms, not even limit, like just completely get rid of the dairy farms and butcher farms and just like, you know, save the animals. So um, yeah, this is also gluten free. It has 22 grams of protein. So have that with like a salad so you could have like a chicken salad or something like that. Um, I'll be making it. So you could stay tuned for the next videos where I'll be like making like food with all the with all these groceries. Oh, and I also found this like seat or CT or uh, bread. Um, it's made out of chickpea flour, so it's super low carb. It's like 24 grams of carb. So I mean, I still would rather eat the lavash bread. That <laughs> if you watch all my YouTube videos, like you, everyone knows, I eat that, and because it has only five grams of carbs, but. This has 24, but I still think it's pretty good. And like, if you have whole foods and you can get your hands on lavash bread, then like, I think this is pretty good. And I've had it before and I really, really liked it. Um, more black beans. I got almond milk. Just like, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. There's so many different high-end brands of almond milk. And honestly, like, I love Khalifa and I love Malk. But you know, if you're on a budget and you're going vegan for the first time and you're like having a big haul like this, like where like my fridge is actually literally empty. I had finished almost everything in my fridge and pantry. Um, it's like hard, you know what I mean? To like buy more and more expensive milk. So if I like, if I finish this and I just needed to go buy almond milk, I might go buy Khalifa or like Malk milk. So. Yeah, so for now I have almond milk breeze and I also, I really, really like this one. Um, I also got cranberry juice. It's pure cranberry juice. Okay, I am going to be probably starting this trend. I am starting, I declare this trend right now of drinking cranberry juice. It is amazing for you, okay? It is like a diabetic. It makes you, like, it helps you lose weight. It flushes out all the toxins in your body. It helps you de-bloat. I actually, like, it, like, I know no one hears about cranberry juice, but it actually works. Okay, so here's, like, a really big benefit of cranberry juice. Um, 
it, it like helps your digestive tract. So they're believed to have like a cleansing, anti-diarrheal, antiseptic, and diuretic detoxifying property. Um, they help the body to eliminate toxins build up and they also help relieve like water retention and bloating and it's true i started drinking cranberry juice um and like i was just going to the bathroom all the time like i know that's a little too much information but if you like have problems like going to the bathroom drink cranberry juice like it's gonna help you a lot and and also you want to make sure you're not getting from concentrate so this brand i got is lakewood organic it is a little bit on the pricier side i think i got it for like 5.99 if i'm not mistaken so it only has 80 calories and the total sugar is 11 grams of sugar so i know people would like refrain from cranberry juice i was like oh i would never have cranberry juice because of the sugar i mean like of course not because if you have like a typical cranberry juice it's loaded with like so much added sugar like 33 grams 40 grams like i was looking at um other cranberry juices compared to this and they were all like 30 and above grams of sugar so this has 11 grams of sugar and that's because of the natural sugars that are in cranberries but there's zero added sugars like zero grams of added sugars no fat no cholesterol 10 grams of sodium I mean, obviously no protein, but um, yeah, it's really light in calories and just 11 grams of sugar. So I am gonna start drinking this just to like flush out my body. Next thing I got, oh, more, yo more yogurt and hummus. Always need hummus. So that was my Whole Foods haul and my total was $70. So I actually spent $70 at Whole Foods and $30 at Trader Joe's. And there's my cat. Okay, so next is Trader Joe's. Um, I'm so excited about this one. So I found some vegan cream cheese, hold on. So this is like some vegan cream cheese. There we go, can you see that? It's Miyoko's unlocks your dreams is vegan. I am so excited to have this. Uh, I'm probably gonna have like, I don't know, spread it somewhere. I'll come up with some snack for it, but as soon as I found it, I was just like, gotta have it, put it in the cart. Um, so I got baby spinach. I got baby spinach. And mushrooms. And then I got some almonds. These are the individually almonds that come in a bag like that where you can get a handful of them and it's just like, take it to school, take it to work, put it in your purse for like a daytime snack. So I love those. And then I got a bunch of frozen fruits. So I got frozen pineapple, unsweetened organic acai packs, um, plantain, and then coconut chunks, like just regular coconut for some good fat. And then I got sliced apples. Oh, that's my receipt. Also got some sliced apples, super convenient. I love their apples. And then I got this thing with celery, onions, and carrots on the bottom. So you can make a soup or with it or like a snack with it. I already have a recipe in mind for it that I'll be showing you later on in the next video. And then I also got some cucumbers in here. I love cucumbers. It's a big staple for me. And then I also got sweet potatoes. Like two sweet potatoes. And yeah, that was $30 at Trader Joe's. So it wasn't that bad. And that's it for all my groceries. haul but I decided just to show you what I'm eating right now out of my groceries and I am going to quickly make a vegan gluten-free breakfast right now and I thought I would just show you guys what I'm doing 
So I'm taking the Greek yogurt, the vegan Greek yogurt by Kite Hill. And this is the one I got at Whole Foods. Um, it's soy free and dairy free. And I think it's made, oh, okay. So it's made out of almond milk. So you could find some that's made out of like cashew milk or like coconut milk or soy milk. I don't know. So this one's made out of almond milk. I'm gonna sample it real quick. Okay, not the greatest. I could taste the protein. I mean, it's edible. But I'm gonna make it delicious. It is supposed to be like Greek yogurt. I never like Greek yogurt anyway, but. So I'm just like taking it and like I'm putting it in a bowl right now. And I'm gonna make it really, really pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna have the whole thing, but this is just what I'm having for breakfast right now. So this is like what it looks like so far, just like a plain Greek yogurt. And then I actually have some frozen coconut chunks. These are from Trader Joe's. And because they've been sitting out for a long time, I might as well add them in. Some coconut meat. Yum. So I have my coconut chunks right here. This is what they look like. There's some good all plant-based fat. Oh, by the way, these raspberries and blueberries, I already had them at home. They're already pre-washed because my mom needed them. So I didn't have to buy any, so that helped me save money. So I'm just gonna like add some, like a handful of blueberries on top and then some raspberries, just like a few. And then, in with my granola and I just take a handful this is a peanut butter one just take a handful whatever fits your palm I like measuring with your palm because your palm is like kind of like they say it's the size of your heart but it also is a good measure for your gut because it's your portion because it's your palm that's going to go into your body so like to measure someone else's like palm or whatever fits their measurement like if I use like a man's palm like he's got a huge palm that's not going to fit in my little gut so yeah use your palm to measure out your portions rather than like using a metric system or like just using someone else's measurements. Just use your intuition and use your palms and just like sprinkle on top. And yeah, I think that's it. This looks pretty good actually. Oh my God, these clusters are so good. So that's the end result. Coconut uh, almond milk yogurt, 13 grams of protein, some coconut chunks, blueberries, raspberries, peanut butter granola and it's just like in a little small bowl like right here anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed creating it and I will see you guys soon